I'll teach you in the front, right here. Uh, right. Congratulations on another arm triangle uh, victory. So what are the emotions now after you get another victory like that? Man, it feels great. You know, just to get back in the win column. You know, uh, it's not enough for me to just have an even record in the UFC, man. I look to uh, start 22 uh, with uh, 23 with a few more wins, man. So it uh, feels good to just get the win. Uh, I thought I'd have finished him earlier. You know, I dropped him there in the first. And uh, I just got a little bit excited. You know, it's been a while since I dropped somebody. And I think I just got a little excited. But was able to get the finish, and I hope you guys were pleased. You said in your post-fight interview that you felt flat in the beginning, but you just said you also dropped him, like, in the first right. combo. And you dropped him in the second round, too, coming out. Right. I just want to explain that. Uh, so it had been a while since I dropped somebody. And what I mean by flat is I dropped him. And then I think I just got uh, real emotional, got real uh, – the drilling got to me. And I wasn't able to think clearly and, and uh, got my drilling up and just uh, – I felt flat, you know. But – between the second and the third, uh, I looked at my coaches. My coach was like, you're a dog, man. I was like, that's right, you know. And I kind of woke back up and uh, was able to get the finish. And I believe this is your seventh arm triangle win of your career. So what is it about that submission that, you know, you can just, when you latch on, that's a wrap? Well, more importantly, you think these guys would figure it out and, and figure out how to defend it, you know. But, man, that's my move. It's a great move for MMA. And uh, I'm not going to, I'm not leaving it anywhere. Did you get to do any work at Glory MMA this, <sighs> this camp? Oh, man. I knew you guys were going to ask this. Uh yeah, yeah, I worked a bit down there. You know, James, James wasn't there. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to dive too much into it, you know. Uh, I've got nothing to look for love for James. I think uh, everybody makes mistakes. Uh, but uh, I spent a little bit of time down there. But he wasn't No, there he wasn't really there. around, yeah. And uh, so uh, when do you want to get back in there now that you are back in the win column? Dude, uh, let, let, let's be honest. I'm no spring chicken, you know. I'm uh, 32 now. Uh, I'd really like to get in there at the beginning of next year. So as soon as I can. Thank you. Come on, somebody asked me something. <laughs> hey, teacher, I did just want to touch on that a little bit. Just what can you speak to about what the vibe is like for the fighters? Because the impression we're getting is there might be some uncertainty and some stress for the guys and girls coming out of there. Out of glory? Yep. Oh, man. Uh, I knew these questions were coming, and, and uh, I want to answer them the, the best of my ability. Uh, I want to first say, you know, from my opinion, you know, J James has been nothing but good to me, but. Uh, I think, uh, he, golly, it, it's really a tough environment there right now. I want to be real honest with you, man. He's, uh, he, he's been nothing but good to, to a lot of those fighters out there. And to a lot of the fighters there, that's their home, you know. And James has, 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 has gave them a home and, and uh, has really taken care of a lot of those fighters, including myself. And I have nothing but good to say about him. I, I think uh, there are possibly some mistakes made. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened, but... Uh, it, it's really a weird vibe there right now, and I just I feel bad for the whole uh, community there. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yep. Congrats on the win, TJ. Hey. Um, you were a step ahead. You you had the advantages. You pretty much were you know like a game, but there's the difference between just uh, getting that dub or trying to get the finish. What was that mindset? You were like, no, I'm gonna perform. I'm gonna show out. Yeah, you know, it's been too long. You know, before coming into the UFC, I think most of I think all of my fights were by finish. You know, uh, except one and. Uh, it was important for me tonight to get back in there. You know, uh, we're, we're not here to, to see decisions. You know, you guys want to see entertaining fights. You want to see finishes. And that's what I give you tonight, and I continue to. Uh, you know, I dropped him twice, man. I should have finished him there, but uh, uh, I ended up getting the W, and uh, that's what's important. And you've come a long way. You know, we've seen you, you evolve. 32 still good. Spring chicken or not, you're still good. <laughs> Thank you. You know, to criticize yourself, your performance, how did you think you did tonight? What things you're going to work on? <coughs> One out of ten. Um, yeah, so first and foremost, you know, uh, I, I had originally knocked out several guys and finished them, but it'd been a while since I dropped somebody. So when I dropped him, you know, I was kind of got excited. You know, I got excited, and I, I didn't keep my mind clear, and I should have finished him earlier, uh, but I'll work on that. You know, just keeping a clear mind once I drop somebody so that I'm able to get the finish. Excellent. Congrats on the win. Thank you again. Hey, TJ. Um, you're a submission specialist and got the choke tonight, but with those headshots uh, and dropping him, did it feel good to clobber him right in the noggin, or do you get more satisfaction out of uh, finishes by ground game? Yeah, uh, that, that's a great question. You know, uh, uh, my statistics would tell you I'm a submission fighter, you know, but, man, there's no better feeling than dropping somebody, dude. You know, I dropped him twice. I just got so excited, you know, when it happened. It had been a while, and uh, that's something I'll work on next time to keep my composure after I drop him and, and get the finish with my hands. Nice. Well done, sir. Thank you, sir. Good. TJ, congratulations again. You obviously have a lot of time left and you want to do a lot more things, but how much do you think about legacy, what you want to leave in this sport, and you know, when it's all said and done, what you want on the tombstone? 
You know, I, I want to first and foremost, uh, you know, one of my guys in my corner, uh, Kyle Thompson, is the upcoming fighter. You know, one thing that's big for me is, is setting a good example. Setting a good example for the upcoming guys uh, in, in our gym and also for my son. You know, uh, my, my son being 11 years old, he's, he was in the crowd tonight. I want to set a good example. You know, um, I, I didn't come for much, you know, just uh, – I hate to say it, but a little trailer park trash kid, you know, and to go from that to here on the big stage winning some fights and hopefully to put some hope in some people, you know, and hopefully I set a good example having good sportsmanship, going up there and fighting like a dog. You mentioned his son being there. What, what does he think of, you know, after the fight, how does he talk about it to you? What, do you? what does he say? Dude, I can't wait to get him. I wish he was here right now. You know, he, he's a UFC fan, you know, and, and to just be here is huge for him. So uh, I just can't wait to see him and, and uh, see what he felt about, felt about the fight. TJ, one more. What is the, uh, the MMA scene in Arkansas down there? Because we obviously got Bryce, Ben Parrish, made a lot of uh, noise over in Bellator that, uh, for a while. So what's the, what's the scene down there? Uh, thank you. First of all, thank you for asking that. You know, Arkansas MMA is growing. I mean, uh, and you better believe it. You know, it's just that it's just me and Bryce are, are finally opening the door for some of these guys. But we've got some talent down there, and, and I'm, I'm excited uh, uh, for, for Arkansas MMA to really open up. And I'm going to be a big part of that and, and look to do some of the coaching there and, uh, when I'm done. I have to ask, when I interviewed uh, Big Tuna Ben Parrish uh, before his last fight, he said that the local scene, there's usually more fights in the crowd Dude. than in the cage. And even when he wins, he usually has to fight people leaving the arena. Is this true? Dude, I, I, it, is, it is nuts, man. Uh, I would love for you guys to see the M Arkansas MMA scene. Like, it is, it is crazy. It used to be worse. It's gotten a little more settled down, but, man... I remember a time they would bring people out of the crowd to fight, you know, in, in the fight. So, man, it's, uh, it's come a long way. But uh, one thing about Arkansas is we've we got some hell of fans that will back us up. Thanks, man. All right. Man, thank you, guys. Appreciate you all.